Good afternoon, welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining. This is Evening Prayer for Tuesday, June 11th. It's the week after Pentecost Sunday, and week four in the psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 68, verse 1 through 27, and Luke 19, verse 1 through 10. Join me now in singing verse 5 of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watt to the tune of New Britain. You rule by your resistless might. Will rebel mortals dare provoke the eternal to the fight and tempt that dreadful war? Oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Arise, my God, let your enemies be scattered. Let them that hate you flee. Alleluia. Psalm 68, and please recite it with me. Alleluia. Arise, my God, let your enemies be scattered. Let them that hate you flee. As smoke is blown away, let them be blown away. As wax melts before a fire, let the wicked perish at your presence. But let the righteous be glad and rejoice before you. Sing to God, sing praises to God's name. Exalt God who rides upon the heavens. God's name is Yahweh, rejoice before God. You adopt the orphan, O God, and defend the widow. Such are you in your holy dwelling. You give to those who are alone a family, and you lead prisoners to freedom. But the rebellious must dwell in a dry land. When you went forth before your people, when you marched through the wilderness, the earth shook and the heavens rained at your presence. Even Sinai itself was moved, O God of Israel. You sent a plentiful rain on your inheritance and refreshed the land when it was weary. Your congregation has dwelt therein, and you have provided out of your goodness for the poor. You gave the word. Great was the company of those that proclaimed it. Rulers with their armies fled while you were at rest among the sheepfolds, and the women at home divided the spoil. Like the wings of a dove, they are covered with silver, her feathers brilliant with yellow gold. When the Almighty scattered rulers, it was like falling snow in Solomon. The hill of God is like the hill of fashion. A high hill is the hill of fashion. Why do you leap, you high hills? This is the hill where God desires to live. The Most High will dwell in it forever. The chariots of God are 20,000, even thousands of thousands. And the Most High comes in holiness from Sinai. You have ascended on high and have led captivity captive. You have received gifts for people, yes, for the rebellious also, that you might dwell among them. Blessed are you who daily bear our burdens. You are the God of our salvation, the God who saves us. By you we escape death. But you shall crush the head of your enemies and the hairy scalp of the evildoers. You said, I will bring my people back from Bashan. I will bring my people back from the depths of the sea. That your foot may be dipped in the blood of your enemies, and the tongues of your dogs too. They have seen your procession, O God, the goings of my God, my ruler, into the sanctuary. The singers went first, the musicians followed. Among them were the maidens playing their timbrels. Blessed are you, God, in the congregations from the fountain of Israel. There is little Benjamin with their ruler, the princes of Judah and their council, the leaders of Zebulon and the leaders of Naphtali. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Arise, my God. Let your enemies be scattered. Let them that hate you flee. Alleluia. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 19, beginning at verse 1. Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through it, and a man there was named Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and very rich. He was trying to see who Jesus was, but on account of the crowd he could not, because he was short of stature. So he ran ahead and he climbed a sycamore tree to see him because he was going to pass that way. When Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him. Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for I must stay at your house today. And so he turned, came down and was happy to welcome him. All who saw it began to grumble and said, He is gone to be the guest of one who is a sinner. Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Look, Half of my possessions, Lord, I will give to the poor. And I, if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I will pay back four times as much. Then Jesus said, Well, today salvation has come to this house, because he too is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek out and to save the lost. Here ends the lesson. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. You are a God that scatters the enemy, like smoke in the wind. Show forth your mighty power, and strengthen us in your ways. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.